today is actually the day after the trip ended, but Sharif organizes, I think usually, uh, a group that want to come out to Alexandria, and so we've come out to Alexandria for the day, and we've been checking out all the different sites here, so it's a two and a half hour drive out here. We checked out the fortress where the lighthouse once stood, the, one of the ancient wonders of the world that no longer stands, and yeah, we're just exploring Alexandria. We're gonna be having a traditional lunch very soon, and I'm gonna interview Sharif about Kentucky and Egypt in general, and find out what his thoughts are on how we can get more people coming here, because this country is fantastic. This is Sharif. Hello. Hello. Sharif has been doing Kentucky for how many years? Uh, more than 20 years. More than, more than 20, 20 years. years doing Kentucky. And how did you first get involved in Kentucky? Um, I started uh, my career after I graduated from Faculty of Arts, okay. History and Arts. And when I started my job, uh, I started work for Spring Tour. So I met with Kentucky rep through Spring Tour and they hired me for one week and they said uh, we would like you to take care of our group as a good as being an Egyptologist there. And um, they want me to do take care of all the group. I started, then I really like it. It was amazing to meet with people from all over the world, so especially with young people, same age, and everyone so interested. And this is why I really still like to do it. So, were you just doing trips back to back to back that entire time? It was. Like, until year 2011, it was every week, every Saturday. Every Saturday we started the new tour. And were you the only tour manager this entire time? Um, I w most of the time. Okay. Yeah. yeah, most of the time I was doing this most of the time. So then after 2011, what happened? What changed? Uh, because of the right and uh, the Arab Spring, uh, there's many people who are scared to travel, uh, not just because most of people, you know, people think of uh, of Egypt, like Middle East, like one country, like uh, they don't know how far away each country. So when it travels in Syria, they think it's in Egypt. Right. So people were scared, and lots of uh, foreign countries uh, they want people, they were wanting people not to travel to the Middle East, uh, not just particular country. Uh, even Kentucky for safety, uh, we stopped the tour for a little bit. Oh, okay. But actually, the tour stopped for about maybe a couple of months. The first tour company, the first people came to Egypt after the right, they were Kentucky. Oh, really? So my first group after 2011, I started like with five people. Wow. Uh, we wanted to test how it is. Uh, it was really very safe. People enjoyed it because so it was, you had five guinea pigs to see. Uh, five it, people. Yeah. Uh, it was only us everywhere. Did they all survive? Each side survived and <laughs> loved it. It was it was a great experience to travel after the big drum. Yeah, that would be interesting. So every site was just pretty much devoid nobody, of people. Nobody, but also no vendors. Right. No, no that, that would have been nice. That would yeah, have been nice. It, it was like we could do anything. Yeah. So, so what do you think is the biggest misconception then about Egypt and traveling through Egypt? I mean, I think I know from my from my personal point of view, people often say, "Well, why are you traveling to Egypt? It's not safe." And I was. Why do you say not safe? Uh, I think the media, yeah, right. the you know people and the, and people, you know, people never travel to any country or not really experience about traveling. They always warning you not to go, which is like themselves never traveling anyway, and always warning you not to travel, not to go to Egypt. It's not safe. 
because uh, they got told by other friends, by news, but no one actually traveled to Egypt and came back home and said it's dangerous. No one said that at all. Only media would say that. Have you ever had any incidents in any of the trips that you've done? I've done thousand tours with Contigo. Wow. Like, never had any, any issue about the safety with my tours. You know, always being safe and and um, since I started the tour and everyone still after 10 years, 15 years of traveling, everyone I met in Kontiki, everyone stays say it's been my best travel in all my life, my best tour. I've heard that as well from a lot of people. And a lot of people, they said, are oh, we coming to Egypt because we got told Egypt, Kontiki, Egypt is the best. And probably also that Sharif is the best. Oh, I'm, I love the tour. I love the tour. I love it. I love people. I love doing. I love my job, and um, I'm really enjoying when I'm working. Like I'm enjoying being with everybody. I'm enjoying to get the comment. People, how do you like this? How do you like that? Uh, I like to be people got interested in me when I'm talking. So it's really nice to have everyone focus on you. And from my eyes, they could love the country. Right. And do you ever get tired of doing the same thing over and over again? No, I mean, you, you work one week on, one week off. I get tired when I stay home. Oh wow. Okay. Like uh, when I'm on the tour, I have lots of energy. Like sometimes I wonder how how I'm doing this. I'm on the bus every day. I'm on the train. And uh, but once I walk into the temple, I feel so much energy. I don't need any vitamins or anything. <laughs> just, no Red Bull, no coffee. No, no Red Bull, no coffee. It's just just walk. Yeah. When I, when I finish the tour, I go. My bones start hurt. My feet hurt. I go for therapy, for treatments, for massage. I'm so tired. But once the tour starts, I'm fresh. I'm excited. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, I can't stop doing this. I think it's going to be all my life. Yeah? Yeah. And do you have a personal highlight that you, you when you think of Egypt, the thing that everyone has to see when they come to Egypt? Like, uh, like what's what's the highlight? What's the must-see thing? Of, of all the things you've seen, what do you think is the top? Well, you know, like, um, uh, most of people, they come to Egypt because they want to see the pyramids. But there's so many of highlights, and that's why people like Egypt. You come to see just one day, is your favorite, but every day it gets better and you see things that never expected to see on your tour. And um, the, what I like, not just one particular, the whole tour, because it's like you get the experience of the whole country, culture, you go see people in the village, you see how people live, how people are happy, not poor people, but satisfied people, and always happy with everything. And you see how people live. You go home, you appreciate home, so you don't complain. Right. Then you get to see the most impressive temples. It's like uh, you go to the Red Sea. We had a great day on the yeah. Red Sea, which is no one, did anyone expect uh, what we see in the Red Sea? Or how it's going to be like? You know, I mean, I did think the sea was going to be red. Uh, no, colorful, like red fish was so red fish. Yeah. But uh, reef, amazing. Um, yeah, the really pyramids. Cool. Uh, so I think the whole tour as like one package is just like a really great value. Like you don't see one thing all the time. Like every day is different. And I think Luxor it must be like the top of the in the world like history because we have almost more than 20 percent of antique all the history it's in Luxor. Well, we got a neat opportunity to see that at night, which I thought was really Luxor, cool. Yeah, I, all, I always wanted people to see the different like, night time and daytime, because also night time is very charming. Like, you know, it reminds me like, you know, like opera theater, like the yeah. opera theater. Because we had, one, how I love Luxor, uh, more than 20 years ago, I had the chance to work on the crew when we had Pavarotti. He kept oh, wow. chanting opera, Aida. And it was a Luxor temple, and we're still remembering. And actually, next next October, we are planning for another big opera in Luxor. And they work hard. That's why we saw there's a lot of construction on the streets, and they're building new roads. So there's so many people coming to Egypt, and especially Luxor next October. We're going to see another opera with a very popular opera singer. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I think. Uh, um, I think everyone loved the tour in Egypt and uh, 
Everyone's nodding right now. <laughs> and we all relaxed. Maybe we're all tired, exhausted, last day. But uh, we, we got some food. Oh, we're gonna put lots of food on the table. This is the best how we eat like Egyptian. Yeah, it's time for lunch. I think that wraps it up. So, are they hungry? Thanks, Sharif. Yeah. 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 I mean, and from everyone, oh, you've been fantastic. You're, you're, like, you're, amazing. you're a legend. Yeah. Everyone talks about you ahead of time. And yeah, I, I think, I think Contiki is doing a great job. Yeah, they are. They're bringing uh, young people and uh, looking after everybody. And we always take care of the quality of the food, make sure that people are happy. And we always get the people comments. So, um, and also we keep the the, st the quality of the tour never yeah. change. We get it, we're making better and better yeah. to keep the good quality. That's no, a great trip. Get the chance. Egypt and the Nile with Kentucky. Yeah. You're probably gonna get Sharif. Yes. Yeah, we, we we need to send us more people. Yes, yeah. it's safe. No one's yeah. had any issues. I've never oh, felt yeah. uncomfortable. Uh, it's actually even a bit more relaxed, I think, in a lot of cases when it comes to like, coming to temples and things where you, you don't have to cover you, up for every place. You know that if you think about what we've seen in one week, it's a lot. But, but we still have time to observe, to relax, to sit by the pool, enjoy the Nile cruise. Like, Nile cruise is fantastic. Like, this is the only yeah. kind of cruise along the Nile. So this was one of the best part of... What was your favorite part of the tour? What do you think? Cherie! <laughs> Yeah, now Shreve, you are definitely a highlight of the tour, and you should be part of the itinerary. I'm just moving this because they're putting something right now on the table. Uh, but I think, yeah, I think every day you just saw something new and, and crazy that made it. Um, I think every day was something highlights. Yeah. Like um, I travel a lot. I've seen museums like most each country you travel. There's only one one highlight you want to go see. Yeah. You will find like every day we see something worth good to see. Yeah. Well, from Alexandria. Alexandria. So last day on the tour. Last day on the tour. This is a this is a bonus one. Uh, do you always do this after your trips? Um, it's not an advertised one. Actually, continue. you know what? I do, you know we do every Saturday before the tour and after the tour. And it's it sounds like it's so much different if you do before and after. Like, I think you maybe you could do both. Because before the tour, you come to Egypt, you land it, and you don't know anything. So first day we go to Alexandria, everyone like click, taking so many pictures and they're amazed by the sights we see because it's the first thing to see and never expected. But now after we've seen the pyramids, we've seen Valley of the Kings, yep. Abu Simbel, Komombo, Red Sea, we already, we've seen a lot. So what are you gonna do in Alexandria? So that's why we make the tour a different way. We make it more like more like a kind of a holiday family, like relaxing, having Egyptian food, uh, see life in the street, uh, flea market, uh, spend more time on the Mediterranean. Um, this was, uh, I think, a little bit different from day one if you do the tour on the first day. So I like it end of the tour because we all like get to know each other, we get along, so we feel more relaxed. So we're not doing like a, like a, like a tour. Right. It's more like a, like friends, a family. Like a family. Yeah. Like a family. A yeah. family vacation. Family vacation. Mm -hmm. We got the smile on everyone. Right? <laughs> That's everyone getting around for our uh, communal dinner, our lunch. What's left of us? We've lost most of the group, unfortunately, but. All right, well, I think they're bringing the food, so. Hungry. Let's do this. Oh, thank thanks you so very much. much. Thanks, Thank you. 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 Thank you.